Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and this company to join together, Joseph and Monica, in holy matrimony. It's been such a pleasure watching this couple come together and we are privileged to be here to join in this occasion. As you stand in the presence of God, remember that true love and faithful observance of your marriage vows are the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Keep the solemn vows you are about to make. Live with tender consideration one for the other. Conduct your lives in honesty and in truth, and your marriage will last. Your home will be lasting. This should be remembered as you now desire to be united in holy wedlock. It seems like you took forever for this day to get here, but I'd do it all over again to find you. I can't wait to marry you and be your husband. I love you, and I'll be waiting at the altar for you. Hey, baby. I can't believe this day is actually here already. So crazy. It's been such a long time that we've been together and we've been planning and I just cannot wait to see you at the end of the aisle and to say I do and become your wife for the rest of my life. I'm going to love you always and forever and more and more every single second. I can't wait to see you. I've looked forward to this moment for as long as I could remember. It seems like it took us forever to get here, but I'd gladly do it all over just to have you in mind. I remember it seems like it was just yesterday when you accidentally told me you loved me and <laughs> ran out my car awkwardly. <laughs> but I promise to always be here for you, be your constant and be your rock. And whether you need anything, whether it's a back rub, a lung, anything, I promise to always be here for you. I love you. Joey. Today I choose you to be my husband, my best friend, my forever partner, 
and my lifelong back rubber. <laughs> I promise to always share in your dreams and to continuously support and encourage you. I will labor to make you a happier man and to ensure that our future family has amazing memories together. I promise to not only grow old with you, but to grow in faith with you. I will love you unconditionally through the great times as well as the not so great times. You are my one and only for the rest of my life and I couldn't be more happy. As long as I'm alive, I'll never leave your side. I love you. All right, I confess that I was a little bit eager to say this, but I would like to present for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Edison Bass the fourth. The fourth. <laughs>